Wow, dude. Idaho weather just baffles me. I'm skateboarding in shorts and a tank top one hour. The next hour, I'm freezing my butt off, man. It's literally 30 degrees. End of, end of June, 30 degrees. And we get this, man. Sick. <laughs> anyway, guys, just got out of Walmart and uh, got myself. Can you guys guess what I got at Walmart? I'm having a late night snack. I have one healthy item and one eh, kind of not healthy item. So first things first, let's get it out of the way before you guys make fun of me. Bam, son. A Walmart honeydew, the best honeydews in the world. And then we got a bag of Harvest Snaps. These things have been selling like crazy. I've never seen them sell so fast. I'm always looking for the mango chili lime. That's the flavor you guys want to get. That's the best flavor. Caesar's pretty good. Black pepper's pretty good. Um, Original's honestly really good. That's that's the first flavor I tried and I was really impressed with these. They're like, they're like the healthy version of chips, but they're still, you know, there's canola oil, which really isn't the best for you. Um, and uh, there's just a lot of salt, which isn't the best, but hey, if you want a snack that's gonna satisfy your needs, but not, not Lay's barbecue chips, these are all right. What to expect when you're living in a car is kind of the idea I wanted to shoot for. And uh, also I wanted to just talk about um, the weather. For me in particular, you guys, nothing inspires me more than a nice sunny day. For I don't know why, that's just me. Some people might say, well, you're mentally weak. You know, you can't let the weather affect you, bro. I don't care how mentally strong you are. If you live somewhere where it's constantly rainy and snowy and freezing cold, it's going to take an effect on you. So one thing I was thinking about is you can't control the weather, but you can control a lot of things and you can control where you live. And so I've been letting this weather pretty much affect me for the last 20, 26 years. And just now I'm like realizing that, yes, man, this is, I need to do this move to California, not only to get out of the cold weather because I wanna keep doing this lifestyle, but because my mood demands me to live in a sunny environment. I mean, if you guys want rain, you want snow, you want 30 degrees year round, come on up here, man, it's great. Anyway, guys, what to expect when you're living in a car. That's another topic I wanted to talk about. You're gonna expect to move around a lot. Inspirational Nomad talks about this. You guys, if you haven't subscribed to Inspirational Nomad, you see him sometimes in my comment section, go ahead and subscribe. Um, he honestly is probably the only guy that really inspired me to get started in this lifestyle. If you guys wanna know anything about living out of your car, check out Inspirational Nomad. Not only is he a very inspiring guy, but he does the basic lifestyle of living out of his Jeep Renegade, and he makes six figures plus a year living down in Florida. He moved from New Jersey, he's got a great story. But anyway, guys, from what I learned, what you can expect living in your car is you can expect to deal with public a lot. And that's one thing that I've really noticed recently is more and more I'm noticing, why am I surrounded by moms and their annoying children? <laughs> you know, why am I surrounded by just, just annoying people? And like, I'm the type of person that gets annoyed um, by, by some people, you know, I just get annoyed. I just get annoyed by young kids cursing and listening to their stupid music or Ma, I, today I was at the park, um, Coeur d'Alene Park down by the skate park where I parked my car. You know, you guys seen some of my videos that spot. I was down there and uh, there was this, uh, a mom and her kid or something were right next to this car and all of a sudden this car's alarm started going off. And it was like some grandma and her grandson were like just messing around with a panic button or something. Long story short guys, there's like old people around and it, we're all just trying to enjoy, you know, sitting chilling at the park and this old lady's car is beeping for a solid five minutes ah, ah, ah. and she's taking her sweet old time you know getting back to the car and it's like dude holy crap you realize how annoying you are so anyway guys dealing with the public that's one you're gonna change your setup a lot you're gonna always be looking for a way to change your setup or change your uh way you where you put things that's one thing i noticed guys i'm just now getting my thing my setup on lock, but you're really gonna be changing everything. A third thing to expect you guys, and this is an important one and, a, and something I'm really trying to focus more and uh, just improve on is driving. 
Since you're living out of a vehicle, you're going to be driving a lot. Driving is first of all very dangerous, and so with that being said, you want to be very good at driving. And I've been focusing on turning my brightness, because I got my phone mount right here where I'm recording, but I want to turn my brightness pretty much all the way down when I'm driving. So I don't have any sort of inclination to look at the screen or anything like that. I don't even look at my radio on my car, volume. I used to look at like the volume sometimes. I'm trying to train my brain to never look away from the road while I'm driving. You know, occasionally when we're driving, I mean, we get it. I mean, I mean, I get it, you guys, we're human and you wanna look and see things sometimes and that's okay. But overall, um, I, I would recommend what to expect is you wanna be sure you're good at driving because you're gonna be driving a lot and it's very dangerous. So expect to be, uh, expect to be better on the road. That's one thing. What else do you, can you expect when you're living out of your car? I got lucky, you guys. I got lucky enough to get this Scion. Um, I'm very glad that I made the decision to get this car. If I was living in something else, it probably wouldn't be near as stealth because this car is a little newer. It's a 2008, so it's literally 11 years old. It's not even that new, but it looks pretty new compared to the average car or compared to a lot of cars you would think people are camping out of. So you want to have a car you can live out of and you want to expect to, you want to be as comfortable as possible with as little as possible. And so I got lucky, you guys, in this car, I can be very, I'm very comfortable living out of my car because of this car. So make sure you guys have a, a car that's that you can do that. I'd recommend the Honda Element. I'd recommend the Scion XB, this car. I'd recommend a Jeep Renegade. What else? I'd, I'd recommend a Subaru, like an Outback or any any like long wagon. I'd recommend those. The, the roof height isn't going to be the best, but whatever. I'd also recommend a truck with a canopy. I've seen a lot of build outs in those. The only downside is you have to get out of your cab in order to get inside your camper. Um, and then of course I'd recommend a, a minivan, you guys. I see them around quite a bit here at the Walmart parking lots. I see minivans everywhere. So, and you can really get comfortable in a minivan because you can take out the seats and really customize what you want and do a build out. So, well guys, I'm glad I found the energy to make this video, man. Earlier I was pretty, uh, pretty tired and I was like, oh, should I make a video? Whenever your brain is trying to say no, that's when you know you should do it. That's kind of how I motivate myself sometimes, you guys. All right, I, I think of an idea and then I just go for it. You, your brain's always gonna want to not want to do videos. You don't want to go to work. You don't want to do this or that, but you gotta just trick your brain to be disciplined. All right, you guys like this video and subscribe. I will catch you guys next time. This is 10 minutes, holy crap, peace out.